Hi y'all, we're in my bathroom. <laughs> it's Kristen. So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and show you my skincare routine. So right now, I don't have a lot on my face. I went pretty light today. It's snowing outside. <laughs> so we went, we went into Vegas, but um, I just did something really simple today. So I just thought I'd show you a very simple skincare routine that I do as well. First, I'm gonna take off my Fitbit. Now, usually I do most of this in the shower, but I'm gonna show you over the sink. <laughs> I have this cute little container that I got from Target, and it holds some cotton. These are my Shiseido cotton, and yes, they're expensive. Yes, it's ridiculous to spend that much on cotton. Don't judge me. I like I like the Shiseido cotton, okay? Sorry if the lighting in here sucks, by the way. Again, bathroom lighting. I To take off my makeup, I use the Garnier Micellar Water. And I use the one in the pink cap. So I go ahead and I just take, usually I take two. Again, I know that they're expensive, but yeah. And I just start taking off my makeup. I know. Really innovative, right? Really, uh, what's the word? Interesting? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. It's like rain and snow outside. It's it's pretty cool that it's raining and snowing. We were in Vegas and it started snowing and I was like, oh my gosh, it's snowing in Vegas. And then I usually use the other side and just, you know, get as much as possible off with the cotton pad. Take off those eyebrows, you know. And then I'm usually wearing more eye makeup than this, which is why I usually then go in with a second Shiseido cotton pad. How many times have I said Shiseido cotton pad? Say it three times fast. And I just go over my eyes with it very gently. I guess I usually am wearing more eye makeup than this, so takes me a little bit longer usually, but with this, I just take off my eyeshadow, my mascara, very gentle rubbing motions. I don't want to be all harsh on it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go over it with a cleanser. So that was the first step. The second step, and this is the part that I usually do in the shower. So I have the Mia 2, and right now I have the Radiance brush head on it. I actually need to change it out. I'm going to change it out the first of March, because um, I believe that's my three, three month cycle. And then I'm also going to take my Gentle Cleanser by Up and Up. It's compared to the Cetaphil. I kind of go back and forth, it depends on what's on sale. This is what I'm using right now. I actually have the actual Cetaphil um, as a backup burn in my cabinet. So what I do with this, obviously, is I do... I do... <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. It just flew everywhere. But I do two pumps. And this is already wet. I'm actually going to wet my face real quick. Hold on. And then you gotta let it go. You just do the round circular motions. So I hope I completely ignore when it tells you to move on to a different section of your face because you're supposed to be like two minutes here and two minutes here and I, I ignore that. I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I lost direction just a long time ago. Anyway, so I gotta wash my Clarisonic or rinse off the Clarisonic and then rinse off my face. Then dry that off. Now I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna take a bath tonight. Um. So I think I'm going to do like extra steps in my skincare routine. 
These are, this is gonna be like my pampering night uh, skincare routine. I'll tell you what, like those two steps, those are always, those are what I do every night. But then the next couple of steps, this is what I do when I wanna pamper myself, so yeah. Um, I usually do some sort of face mask, or recently I actually got a sample of the uh, Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. Um, pretty much got one more use out of it. It's been pretty nice. It's a, um, like a retinol or an ADA or AA, that's not right. AHA. And what you do is you put it on and you leave it on for like 20 minutes. I'm going to avoid the, I'm going to avoid the eye area. Because under the eyes, they've been dry lately. Yeah, that's pretty much gone. I think I'm going to buy the whole thing when um, Sephora has a sell. And then for under my eyes, what I'm going to do. So then for under my eyes, I have a couple of Sephora face masks. I got the uh, Orchid, which is anti-aging and smoothing. I have the Cucumber, which is soothing and depuffing. And then I have the Grape, which is soothing and toning. Okay. So... I want to do... I'm going to do the anti-aging one, the orchid one. Okay, so what you do with these? Oh, I better look and see what time it is so I know when to take this off. So it's 5.03. Yeah, I'm getting ready, like late, or late, early. I, like I said, it's cold and rainy and I'm just going to take a bath and relax tonight. So, ooh, looks like this one already came off its thing. Okay, so what you do with these is you take the eye patches and, let's see. Um, you put them on like this. I'm going to get a little into the area where I put that drunk elephant, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to draw myself a bath and I'll be back when I'm done with my bath and most likely I'll have taken both of these things off and I'll just show you the results of them and then we'll go on with the rest of my skincare. Okay, so I went ahead and took my bath and I dug my head in obviously um, and I wiped off the, I wiped off the drunk elephant and took off the eye mask. Uh, let's get close. I don't think that you can really see a difference. <laughs> my skin feels super smooth though. I really like that that uh, that baby baby skin. I'll put exactly what it's called down below. I don't know what it's called. So next I'm gonna go in with my serum. I have the Collagenous by Skin Stim Regen Elite Age Defying Facial Serum. Looks like this. And I just go in with one and a half pumps. And as you do with face care, face, face care, with skin care, you bring it up. You want to pull that gravity up and not down. I actually need another pump to go ahead and get down here on my neck. Just go ahead and bring that up. And while I let that sit for a minute, I go in with the L'Oreal Revitalift Eye. Looks like that. And 
I use my pinky, or my pinky, my ring finger, and just pat that in under the eyes. I don't use a lot of this. Actually, a little goes a long way. And I bring it all the way around the eye area. Out here a little bit where the crow's feet are. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my Collagenous Skin 24-Hour Youth Preservation Cream. Yeet, it's at this. That's what that is. It's a really thick cream. It's really, really thick. I get a get a pretty good amount on. I have pretty dry skin. Well, uh, like I've said before, I'm normal to dry skin. I kind of go circular, but try not to go like down too much. Try to go up. Bring them in circles. Bring it down the neck. And that, my friends, is my nightly skincare routine. Now, if I'm going to have like a lot of makeup on, like a lot of eyeliner and, and mascara and like heavy eyeshadow, um, then I usually use my Dermalogica. Now, you might remember that I said I use this to take off um, wax when I wax my eyebrows I still use that but I actually found that this really really works well at breaking up makeup so I'll use it for that and if I don't use this because I want to reserve it for when I you know do my eyebrows I also have the Boshka charcoal makeup melter it, it looks like this and this is just it, it's just a cleansing balm it's black smells disgusting. You put it on your skin, it melts off the makeup. I don't like this as much because it hurts my eyes, so I can't really use it on my eyes. Um, I don't think you're supposed to use this on the eyes, but you can, and it doesn't, it doesn't feel really bad. And then if I'm lazy, which, you know, we all have those days, feeling lazy, I will go in with my Sephora. It's the watermelon cleansing wipes, and they look like this. And they're just cleansing wipes. There's 25 of them in here. It's a Sephora brand. They were like seven, eight bucks. When I'm lazy, I'll go in with this and a moisturizer and call it a night. I don't know. That's usually when I'm not wearing too much makeup. Late tonight, but I wanted to do my skincare routine for you. Okay. So those are usually what I use for my skin. I don't have an exfoliator right now. I need to get an exfoliator, honestly. Um, but I'll show you what I use in the morning. Um, yeah, I'll get up in the morning and I'll film the rest of this and show you what I use in the morning. Um, just to kind of go along with skincare, I do also use the Vaseline, the Vaseline Intensive Care. I had a little one, I just upgraded to the big one. So I use that also just all over my body. You know, legs, arms, hands, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. So that is my nighttime routine. I will get up in the morning and I will show you my daytime routine. And yeah, so in my time it'll be, you know, what, like 14 hours from now? Yeah, and then in your time it's gonna be like that. <laughs> so I'll be right back in your time. I'll be back later in my time. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> now it's the next day, it's the next morning probably can tell from my throat. Um, and now we're going to do my morning skincare routine. So my morning skincare routine is real simple. All I do is I take that same micellar water, another cotton pad, and I just... Everything's off my face, so I don't feel the need to wash it completely again. I am a, um, like I said, I have normal to dry skin, so I don't like to overwash it and plus nothing really happened overnight so I'm just getting anything additional off make sure it's nice and yeah you know, see there's not really much coming off on this pad and then um, once I do that I go in again with my my L'Oreal Vitalift 
what it's called? Revival, revival it. Excuse me. And I also, I put that under my under eyes because they're so dry. Now, if I take a shower in the morning, which is rare, usually I'll take it at night. Or like last night, I'll take a bath. So, but if I do take a shower, I will wash my face. Um, I don't usually use my Clarisonic. I'll just use my Cetaphil and just use my hands for that usually um, when I do that. But like I said, I usually take a shower at night. It's just, I'm a shower, I'm a night shower person. I don't know why. And then the other thing that I do is I put the ro this Pearlescence Rose Hip Oil. I got this from TJ Maxx. Um, you saw it in a haul or get ready with me or something. And I've been really enjoying it. And I take very, very little. I don't know if you can see how much I took. Uh, probably not. Very, very little though. Probably between my hands. And again. I'm going to go up and not down. And not down. Now I'm a bad girl and I don't wear sunscreen mostly because I'm highly allergic. Well, not highly allergic. I'm very sensitive skin. I have very sensitive skin, so sunscreen tends to break me out and to just give me rashes. So if you have a really good sensitive you know, safe for sensitive skin, facial sunscreen, um, please let me know. And I, can, I would like to incorporate one. I really do, especially, you know, being out in the desert, it'd probably be a really good idea, but I don't. Right now, I don't have one. Which I know, bad Kristen. Bad Kristen. But I, I don't want to say, it. like I said, every sunscreen that I've tried on my face, it just, it, it, it did not go well with my sensitive skin. So I just don't do it. Um, but that's really all I do in the morning. I don't do anything extravagant. Um, sometimes I will put on a moisturizer and right now, just like I had a sample of the Drunk Elephant last night, I also have a little sample of the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream, which is just like this. And actually a really good size sample. I haven't even went through it. I've been using it, but... And sometimes, and I'll do that now, just sticky books. Uh, sometimes I'll put that over the oil, give my skin a little bit extra moisture. And if I'm not going to wear makeup, sometimes I'll just do that or if I'm like doing something real quick. Sometimes I'll just put moisturizer on. If I don't use this moisturizer, I use the moisturizer that I used in my night routine. Uh, but yeah. And there you go. Ready for the day. I don't do anything extravagant um, really in the morning or the nighttime. I just make sure that my face is moisturized, my eyes are moisturized, and really that's about it. And that my face is obviously clean. <laughs> um, I do like my serum at night, um, but otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much all I do. So, yeah. I hope you like this video. It will be my old setup next time, or my new setup next time. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this video. If you liked it, subscribe, please, if you haven't yet. And you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.